You guys, I'm in a full panic. I'm gonna tell you that I love you 100 times a day. You'll get tired of my voice, that's how much I'm gonna tell you that I miss you. I'll miss you if you go. Good morning, princess. Oh, and look who's over there. Hi, Bandy. Good morning, you guys. Mm. Today is the day that we are gonna find out if we are being displaced to another base. If you wanna know more about how this works, go watch this video and I'll even post the timestamp where like, I talk about it. But anyways, today we find out if we're gonna be able to keep our base in Dallas or if we're being displaced. And if we're being displaced, where? <laughs> also, can we just know how pretty this is? <laughs> I'm like, I'm loving these clear glasses. I think it just looks so stylish. Unamused, unamused, you guys. Okay, so right now it's only 8.30 in the morning, but I actually have some work that I need to do for Cat Eye Cosmetics, which brings me into today's sponsor. So I am super excited to announce that this video is actually being sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for curious and creative people. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare offers so many classes in a wide range of topics, everything from photography to marketing to productivity to lifestyle. There is really something for everybody. So as many of you guys know, I actually own my own cosmetic company, Cat Eye Cosmetics, and I really wanted to dive into that. I wanted to learn new marketing skills, new business skills, and I thought Skillshare was going to be the perfect way to do so. And right now I'm actually taking a course by Guy Kawasaki called Art of the Start turning ideas into high growth businesses. And one of the things that I have so far taken away from this course that really spoke to me, and I think it's gonna to speak to you guys as well, is actually called the 24 hour business planning rule. So this basically says that when you have this great idea, you have 24 hours to kind of plan and map this out, how you're going to execute it properly. And I think this speaks volumes to so many things, even besides business, because how many times do we get stuck at the start? We can't succeed if you do not start. And so many times, time and time again, I hear people, even with YouTube, and like, I wanna do YouTube, but they never start. And another great thing about Skillshare is it's really curated specifically for learning. So there are no ads and they're constantly launching new premium classes. This really allows you to kind of buckle down and focus on what you need to focus on without all of the distractions and just follow wherever your creativity takes you. And not only that, but Skillshare is actually offering the first thousand of my subscribers who go down to my description box and click the link will get a free trial to a premium membership. So if you're ready to expand your knowledge and really dive into your creativity, head down to my description box below and click the link down there to get access to Skillshare. All right, you guys, now let's get back into the video. Go potty, go potty. Good job. You guys, it is so cold. It says as of right now that it is actually supposed to snow in two days in Texas. Look at this, 43 degrees with a low of 30, but when you go down here, on Sunday, 70% chance of snow. I got a blowout the other day, and y'all, I'm not even gonna lie, I forgot what my hair looked like when it was like straight-ish. <laughs> oh, I couldn't find you. Are you laying in the closet? You're in the closet, ma'am. Hi, sweetie. Ah, you're so pretty. So I finished getting ready, but now I need to pack all of the lash orders and then also all the clothes need to go in my car that are going to donation before we go run some errands. And I'm really hoping like they announce bases while we are out. I'm like freaking. <laughs> Okay, so I finished the post office, I finished dropping off my clothes and that stuff, and I checked again and still no sign of base assignments yet. So we're still waiting pretty. It's 12.39 right now, so I'm guessing it's time to probably get some lunch in there, but I feel like I had one more. Oh, I have to run to at home. I'm like, <laughs> I'm a little bit out of it. I have to run to at home, and then after that, we're gonna get some lunch. Somebody asked me if I do 
intermittent fasting and I kind of laughed because I, I'm like, I guess I do, but it's very unintentional. Um, I either just eat when I'm hungry or when it's convenient in the middle of my work schedules. We're gonna go inside and see what we can see. Okay, so I just got home and my mom actually called me, so I was talking to her for a bit, which is gonna lead me into what we're gonna do later, but I'm starving, so. I'm finally sitting down. We got an egg cooker. I will link it down below because it's the best thing ever. You can make like soft boiled, medium boiled, hard boiled eggs, poached eggs. I showed it on my Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram, post it right here because I was like, y'all, this is awesome. You can make omelets. So anyways, yesterday we made a bunch of hard boiled eggs. So I'm gonna eat two of these and I have two sausages. And I ate one sausage because I was so hungry, I couldn't wait. But my mom called me and said that she's actually going to Hard Eight Barbecue, which is like one of my absolute favorite barbecue places in Texas. It's so good. It has like this huge smoker and you pick everything you want off the smoker and then they do it by the weight and then you can pick all your sides afterwards. So I'm gonna do that and then Chip's at work. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring him some food home for after work. But I'm ready to shut up and start eating because it's almost four o'clock and I'm sitting here like, what took you so long? <laughs> I also went and got a lot of stuff to redo the pantry and get the pantry a bit more organized. I've tried in the past and I just don't like how it looks, so I'm going to try again. But I'm actually filming a house tour tomorrow, but it should go up before this video because I know y'all have been asking me to do it and I was like, I don't know. And I'm finally giving in and doing it. So if you want to see my house tour and you have not seen it yet, I will link it right here and down below in the description box. But yeah, let's get some stuff in my house put together. <laughs> Okay, so here is my pantry before. Hopefully I can come up with some kind of impressive after, but maybe not, we'll see. <laughs> I'm such a dummy. I thought that this was gonna be a 16 piece set. Let me just show you. So the box says 16 piece airtight food storage. So I saw all of these things and I was like, oh, okay, cool. That means that there's two of each. No, you dummy, it's a lid and then a bottom. So I thought I got twice as many and I clearly didn't. So I'm gonna have to just make do with what I've been doing so far and then probably go to the store and get another one. <laughs> okay, so here is the pantry all done with what I have. So obviously I thought I was gonna have way more of these than I do. So once I get some more of those, I'm gonna get some other things organized. I love, what is this? <laughs> I love that I'm like trying to convince myself that I'm like, it's fine, it's fine. It's like that meme where they're on fire and they're like, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> you guys, I'm in a full, Panic. Bases are out and my messaging system through the company is not working. It literally says unable to complete your, sorry, it's like refreshing right now. Unable to complete your request. Please try again. And I'm just like, my other friend had messaged me and was like, what base did you get? And I'm like, now I'm sitting here and I'm like, what base did I get? Like, what base did I get? And I have no way of figuring it out. I, my head is going to explode. I'm going to explode. I don't even know what to do. I don't know what to do. Do I, do I call the help desk? I don't know what to do. Oh, who saw? Okay, so I called the help desk number for the IT department and it gave me like an automated voicemail saying that they're aware and they're fixing the issue, but there's nothing I can do right now. So we are literally sitting pretty, having no idea what our base is while other people are figuring it out. <laughs> okay, so I just checked. I just checked that my friend like walked me through the step. Apparently you can do it online versus like through the messaging system. I can't even talk, I can't even talk. Through the messaging system. So I went online and I looked and I could not find my name. I mean, that list is long. It's 8,000 people long. So finally I had to do like that command F found my name, and I got Dallas. We're staying in Dallas. We're staying in Dallas. Like, <laughs> so displacements are happening for some people. So I'm very, 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 very blessed that I'm not going to be one of the people displaced because commuting is tough, and it's even tougher whenever all this stuff is going on. You don't have all the flights to get on and all that stuff. So. Whew. 
this day has just been crazy. Like I'm messaging with my friends, like we're all trying to talk and figure out like who's going where and I feel like it's 50-50. I feel like half of my friends got their original bases and they're going back to where they were based and the other half of them have all been displaced to different places. Now for the most part of like people I've talked to, they've all gotten like their top choices. So that's nice. But it's just like a little bit wild that like everybody is kind of moving. It's like exciting. It's nervous. Some of my friends that were based in other places are now coming to Dallas. So that's really exciting and cool. Also, as far as like moving expenses and things like that. So this time around, because they are being displaced, the company pays for moving fees. So if somebody did get displaced and they have to move to where the base is, the company will pay for that. But generally speaking, if you decide to transfer somewhere or if you move somewhere and haven't gotten your transfer yet, like what happened to me when I was still based in North Carolina, but I had moved back to Texas anticipating my transfer, but it took like six months to get and I had to commute. In that instance, they do not pay for your moving expenses. So if the transfer is on you, you pay out of pocket to move, whereas displacements, that's on the company's dime to pay for moving. I'm really not sure how much they cover or when that all happens. And because I'm not being displaced, I don't know how much I'm really gonna know or look into that, but just kinda to give y'all a little awareness of how something like that really works, essentially. But my husband's getting off work right now, so once he gets here, I'm sure we're gonna chit chat it up. I got some picture frames that I need <laughs> to hang up. It's like, he's leaving work, now he's coming to his real job. <laughs> so I have some pictures and stuff for him to hang up and got him some barbecue, so hopefully that will make him happy. And yeah, I'm gonna just play with the pepperonis and I will see you guys.